Hello friends. So today at CG Tube Plus we will learn how to build a 3D anaglyphic view in Maya 2012. So let's start off by opening Maya. Okay, let's set our project file or project folder. Select 3D anaglyphic view Maya 2012. Okay, now let's open our scene that is scene 1.mb. Now as you can see that we have provided you with a model that is specially made for this project. As we can see the depth and uh, also depth I mean uh, stereoscopic depth easily in this uh, file and this is our textured view. Okay. That's better. And now let's set our scene before we can apply a stereo camera. Let's adjust it a bit, a bit more. That's better, I think. Slightly, that's okay. Okay. Now let's select our stereo camera. Mm, okay. Under panels, stereo. Select stereo camera. Now, as you can see, stereo camera on our top view. Now, let's select the camera attributes and set X, Y, Z rotation scale and translate to zero. As by default, stereo camera in Maya uses a default, you can say, position that we will set to zero so that we can get the camera in the center of the grid okay just wait okay there is it okay now we will as you can see there are, that there are three cameras and we will select the middle camera as that, that camera controls the other two cameras Okay, we will select that and we will set it according to our scene. Let's move the camera to top. Okay. Let's adjust it a bit more. That's good. Now we will go under panel and select stereo camera so we can see stereo camera in one of our grid or viewport. Now as you can see, still now we will set it according to the viewport. Okay, now here is it. You can see if you have goggles, you can see a stereo output directly in your viewport. Now we will uh, always remember to see that you have uh, anaglyphic selected under stereo, otherwise uh, you will not get that output that we are looking for that's better and also we can uh, get a luminant luminous anaglyph view if you want but generally we will use anaglyphic view for this project that is far more better just set it move the camera a little bit more just to get the perfect view that's better okay now mm, okay so let's adjust it a bit more Okay, now we will go to our stereo camera attributes and under shapes we will set some of the controls of our stereo camera. Here you can see our camera attributes. We will just set our stereo off axis to parallel. just to work 
like uh, we see in real time okay we have also provided a guide as how stereoscopic work with this tutorial so you can follow that also we will uh, adjust a bit okay I think that's better okay we will see also off axis if we get a better output and you can adjust this according to yourself according to the requirement I think that is the main point uh, also we will set the zero parallax uh, just uh, for the information if you can if you have your goggles 3d NLA anagraphic goggles and it will help you better to get a better output and if you have goggles then you can also uh, view your anagraphic 3d directly on your viewport I think that's much better that's what I am trying to adjust it can take a little bit time uh, to get a better output I think that's good that's be much better than before okay so now it's done almost now we will uh, proceed uh, towards render we will have a preview first let's click that's a small render okay sorry let's click uh, let's get a better big uh, big render okay it can take some time as it will render both channel first left then right and uh, on combination of both angle we get a 3d anaglyphic view I will stop the recording here and we will get to the final output when we when we will get both the channel okay now as you can see that we have completed that render and we will save that image uh, in our project folder we will uh, create a new folder render and we will save that image uh, by default Maya usually adjusts both the both right and left images and uh, will give you the final result but for better output we will uh, get both the left and right channel separately and then we will adjust them in Photoshop which we will see further so let's close that and let's select our uh, let's select the render settings go to render settings it's getting a little bit slower usually this makes PC a bit heavy but it's okay so let's uh, first rename our file that is image underscore and we will use TGA as we will get a better output in, uh, as a TGA and also sometimes it helps us to get the alpha channel also and always remember to select stereo camera under render renderable cameras okay and uh, under quality we will uh, set it to production level that's better and under indirect lighting we will check final gather on that's all let's save our scene once again that's good now let's start our batch render okay that's better and uh, now I will pause the video once again and we will see the final version when it's done okay now we are finished with our batch render now let's minimize Maya now we will go to our project folder
sorry open wrong folder we will go to our project folder and here you will see two folders named studio camera left and studio camera right and that are those are the channels that we are looking for we will open both the TGA files that is image underscore left and right in a Photoshop okay our system is getting a little heavy okay let's rename our file to image underscore left okay now open the right channel that is stereo camera right and photoshop let's rename the file to image underscore right okay now as you can see both the channels are in photoshop now we will select the left channel and we will use channel mix to get our red channel for this we will set red to 100 and green and blue channel to 0 this will give us the red channel for our left eye always remember that for left eye it's red and for right it's cyan otherwise you will not get a proper anaglyphic 3d view now let's select both the layers that is and here is it let's select both the layers and merge them now we will do same for the right channel also and for this we will go to channel mix and we will set red to zero and leave green and blue channel to 100 okay we'll merge the layers now as you can see that we have got both the channels in our photoshop red and cyan now we will select right channel and under blending mode we will select screen and here is your final 3d anographic view if you have your 3d glasses then you can view this in real time we have saved this file let's preview it once more okay i hope you guys learned something out of this lesson and uh, if you want to learn something more about as how 3d analytic view works then i have provided you with a little guide with this project hope you can follow that and learn a bit more that's all for this have a nice day bye